Good morning, Year One. Today is our last geography lesson all about the United Kingdom. So we are going to recap everything that we know. So let's find out everything that we have learned this term about the United Kingdom. Waldo has a question for us. He's asking, do you know the countries and the capital cities in the UK? Do you think you know the countries and the capital cities? You do? Let's see how well you know them. So we are going to play the countries and capital cities game. OK, let's go. Where is Ireland? Now, Ireland is not a part of the UK, but can you find it? Which colour is Ireland? The orange one. Well done. What is the capital city of Ireland? It's a trick one to like this. It's Dublin. Well done. Which one is Wales? Is it this one? No, this one? No, this one? It's the green one. Well done. Now, which is the capital city of Wales? Is it Swansea, Cardiff or Newport? Newport, okay. No, which one is it? Cardiff, well done. Now we need to look for Scotland. Is Scotland the country to the south? No. Is it the country to the north? It is. Fantastic. Well done. Now, which one is the capital city of Scotland? Is it Glasgow? Is it Edinburgh? It's Edinburgh. Well done. Correct. Oh, we've got six out of ten so far. Let's keep going. England. Can you point which one is England? So it's this one? No. So this one here? Are you sure? Yes. Well done. The country in the south is England. Now, this is a nice and easy one. Which one is the capital city? Manchester, Birmingham or London? Which is the capital of England? Nice and easy that was. London is where we all live. Now we've got one left, Northern Ireland. Which one is left? Can you shout out the colour it is? Well done. It's the red one. Now, can you remember the capital of Northern Ireland? Shout it out in three, two, one. Belfast. Well done. It is Belfast. The game is over and we got 10 out of 10. Well done, remember the four countries in the United Kingdom and the four capital cities and you even challenged yourself and you were able to answer the capital city of Ireland and where Ireland was. Well done. Now that we were able to find the countries and the capital cities, Waldo's got another question. He wants to know, do you know how to give directions? Do you feel confident you could give Waldo directions? You do? Okay, so we learn about compasses and it's an important tool to read maps and it tells you which way is north, south, east and west and this is what a compass looks like. You may have one at your home, you may, want, you may have one on your parents phone but they are used when you are reading maps. So remember when we made treasure maps, we had our compass to help us find the treasure. Now we have north, south, east and west. But can you remember which direction each of those are? Let's look to our compass points and I want to see if you can remember which one is north. Can you point to where is north? Is it here? Is it down here? To left. Which one's north? Let's all point to north in three, two, one. Well done. North is pointing up, so it must be the top of our compass. Well done. Now let's do the opposite. Pick in there. Where is the south? If I know the north is up here, where is the south? Can we all point to the south in three, two, one. 
well done the south is to the bottom so looking at our compass point the south is the one at the bottom well done now let's look uh, to our right here to our right which direct which compass point is that to our right shout it out in three two one well done it is the east to the east and what is left north east south and this way is our west well done and remember our phrase to help us remember that never eat soggy waffles so i want us to all point to our directions with our compass points let's all point to north point to east point to south point to west we can do it even faster ready off we go north east south west well done now we are going to be looking at the seas that surround the uk waldo wants to know do you remember all the seas that surround the uk you do let's find out so the uk is bordered by four seas and one ocean here looking at our map we can spot them all so let's first start with the English Channel. The English Channel is to the south of England. So there's a big clue in its name. It's to the south of England and it is between England and the north of France. And we know the English Channel is famous for its tunnel that takes us to France. You often get the Eurostar to Paris. And we have people often swimming in the English Channel. And this is where a lot of ferries come and are transporting goods. Next, we have the North Sea. The North Sea, big clue in its name as well, is to the north, to the north of the UK. And it is past Scotland. So to the north of Scotland, we can see the North Sea. And remember, our North Sea is very cold because the glaciers melted, which made the sea very, very cold and dangerous. Next, we have the Irish Sea. Can you point to the Irish Sea? Where is it? Well done. It is in between Ireland and the rest of the UK. And the Irish Sea is well known for all it's animals that are in the sea and it's quite mucky and dirty because of all the mud mixing in with the sea. We also have the Celtic Sea which is to the south of Ireland and the Celtic Sea is very famous for all the animals. We have whales and dolphins and otters all swimming in the sea and it's much nicer than the Irish Sea and it has beautiful blue clear water. And the last one we have is not a sea, it's a big ocean and it's the Atlantic Ocean which is at the north, so the top part of the UK and it goes all the way from America all the way to Africa and Europe and the UK so it's very large and then our picture here we had a very famous man who swam the whole entire of the Atlantic Ocean very impressive now that we have remembered all our seas and our ocean let's see if you remember where they are now that we have recapped about the seas that surround the UK, now it's your turn to see if you know them all. So here I have a map of the UK and I have one, two, three, four and five covered up. So you need to write down what are the missing seas and ocean. You are going to pause the video now and you are going to write down the answers and then come back when you are ready. Off you go. Are you ready to go through the answers? Okay, let's go. What was number one? Can you shout out the answer on three, two, one? Well done. It was the North Sea. It's the north of the UK. 
And is it hot or is it cold? It's very cold because of the glaciers that melted. What about number two? Let's shout out the answer in three, two, one. Well done. It is the English Channel. It is to the south of England and it has a very famous tunnel that you can get a train all the way to France underground and very famous people have swam the English Channel and it's very busy because it has lots of ferries who are transporting goods. Well done. What is number three? Let's all shout it out in three, two, one. Well done. It is the Celtic Sea. It is to the south of Ireland and it is, has beautiful blue water with amazing animals like whales and dolphins that you could spot. What is number four? Can we shout it out? In three, two, one. The Irish Sea, well done, you got that correct. It is between Ireland and the rest of the UK. And is the water very clear and blue? No, it's not. It's very mucky and dirty because of all the mud that has mixed in with the sea. Now, can you remember number five? You can? Okay, let's shout out the answer in three, two, one. The Atlantic Ocean, remember this one's an ocean, meaning it's gigantic. It goes all the way from America to Africa and Europe. So it is, is very big. Well done for getting those all correct. Now, Waldo's well, got another question for us. Do you know what each country in the UK is famous for? You do? We learned about this last week. So let's see what we know. We know England is famous for many things and it's famous for its musicians such as the Beatles and its English breakfast. It's famous for cups of tea. We've got some very famous politicians like Boris Johnson and we have landmarks like the London Eye and Big Ben. Can you think of anything else that England is famous for? Great, well done. Now we also have Scotland. What is Scotland famous for? It is famous for its bagpipes and its kilts and its beautiful mountains and its lakes. Do you remember anything from last week that Scotland is also famous for? Well remembered. Now let's move on to Wales. Wales is famous because most of its people speak Welsh. So they also speak another language. And you can often see lots of their signs also in Welsh and in English. And it's also famous for its hills and its mountains. Do you remember anything else of Wales is also famous for? Well done. And Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is famous for some famous ships and one of the most famous ships it's famous for is the Titanic, which tried to sail all the way to America. And it's also famous for its beautiful countryside and scenery. Have, ever, have any of you ever been to Northern Ireland? Okay, fantastic. I've never been to Northern Ireland, but I would love to go. Sounds beautiful. Now that we have recapped everything about the United Kingdom, we have recapped about our compass points, about the four countries in the UK and their capital cities. We have recapped the seas that surround the UK and what each country is famous for. We are now ready to take the Year One Geography United Kingdom Quiz 2021. But are you ready? Are you sure? OK, you look ready. Let's do the quiz. OK, we're ready for our quiz. 
you will need to get either a piece of paper and a pen, a whiteboard and a, and a pen, anything that you have to write down your answers. So pause the video, go grab something to write your answers down and then come back. Ready? Okay, question one. What's a globe? Do you remember what a globe? Is it A, a country? B, a capital city? C, a model of the earth? Or D, the United Kingdom? Write down your answer. I'm going to give us 10 seconds and then we'll find out the answer. So write it down. Okay, let's find out the answer. A globe is a model of the Earth. So well done if you got that right. Give yourself a tick. Two. The United Kingdom is made up of A, five countries, B, four countries, C, two countries, or D, three countries. Write down your answer. the answer the united kingdom is made up of four countries and three now let's remember what are those four countries the four countries of the uk are a spain scotland england and northern ireland b china england ireland and wales c Wales, England, Italy and France, or D, Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. You have 10 seconds to write down your answer. The answer is... of Scotland, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Well done if you got that correct. Question four. Which country is this? So looking at the picture here, we in green, we have highlighted one of the countries. Is it A, Scotland, B, Wales, C, Northern Ireland or D, England? Which country is it? 10 seconds to answer. The answer is Scotland is to the north of the UK. So well done if you got that right. Five. Which country is this? Think about what country is to the south of the UK. Is it A, England, B, Wales, C, Northern Ireland or D, Scotland? Ten seconds to find out. The answer is England. England is to the south of the UK and it is where we live. And six. What is the capital of England? Is it A, London, B, Cardiff, C, Kensal Rise or D, Brent? Which is the capital of England? Ten seconds. The answer is A, London. London is the capital of England. That's where we live. Give it a tick if you got that right. Well done. Seven. What is the capital of Wales? Is it A, London, B, Belfast, C, Edinburgh or D, Cardiff? Ten seconds to write down your answer.
two, one. The answer is B, Cardiff. Cardiff is the capital of Wales. Well done. Question eight. Looking at our seas now. What sea is located to the south of England? Is it A, the English Channel? B, North Sea? C, Irish Sea? Or D, Celtic Sea? 10 seconds to write down your answer. The answer is... It is to the south of England. Remember, it's between England and France and has that very famous tunnel that the train goes to France. Question nine, you ready? What sea is between Ireland and the UK? So which sea is in between Ireland and the UK? Is it A, the Irish Sea, B, North Sea, C, the English Channel, or D, the Atlantic Ocean? 10 seconds to write your answer down. The answer is A, the Irish Sea. The Irish Sea is between Ireland and the UK. Big hint in its name being called the Irish Sea. Well done, you got it right. Big tick. Number 10. What is Scotland famous for? Think about last week what you learned. Is it A, the English breakfast? B, the Titanic? C, sheep, or D, bagpipes. What is Scotland famous for? 10 seconds. The answer is D, bagpipes. Scotland is very famous for its bagpipes and its kilts. Well done, we got that correct. 11. What is Northern Ireland famous for? Is it A, English breakfast, B, bagpipes, C, sheep, or D, the Titanic? Do you remember from last week? 10 seconds to write down your answer. The answer is the Titanic, which was a very famous ship that was from Northern Ireland. Well, question 12. What are the four compass points? A. North, East, South and West. B. North, East, Wealth and Cest. C. Never eat soggy and West. D. Up down, left and right. Which one of those are the four compass points we use for directions? 10 seconds. The answer is North, East, South and West. That's all point to North, point to East, point to South, Point to West. Well done. Well done for completing Year One Geography Quiz 2021, all about the United Kingdom. Now you know everything that is to know about the United Kingdom. Go and tell anybody in your family or your friends or your teachers about the United Kingdom. Well done, everybody, for a great term in geography.